Welcome. In this playthrough of Marvel Champions of Card Game, we have Black Widow with the power of protection taking on Norman Osborn and Green Goblin. For setup and our main scheme, we have a hostile takeover. We are going in expert mode, so we've got Norman Osborn 2 and 3, uh, Risky Business and the Standard Encounter sets, and the Goblin gimmicks along with the three expert cards. For setup, we put the Criminal Enterprise environment into play, shuffle the encounter deck, and advance to stage 1B. So our counter deck, we'll give it a final shuffle. Then we'll take a look at Criminal Enterprise. So Criminal Enterprise enters play with two infamy counters per player on it. So we've got those set up here. There are no infamy counters here. Flip Norman Osborne and Criminal Enterprise. So this will become the State of Madness. And when this enters play, we put two Madness counters on it per player. And if there are no Madness counters on here, then we flip over back to the Criminal Enterprise. So we've got a hostile takeover going over. When completed, place one infamy counter per player on crim Criminal Enterprise, then discard one card from each player's deck for each infamy counter on Criminal Enterprise, and this starts with two threat on it per player. For Norman Osborne, he's got a schema two, special for attack, force interrupt. When Norman Osborne would attack, we place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise. The force interrupt, when he would take any amount of damage, remove that many infamy counters from Criminal Enterprise. And on the other side, he's got the special for scheme, four attack, when revealed, deal four indirect damage to each player. Forced interrupt, when he would scheme, remove one madness counter from State of Madness instead, and he comes in with 18 health per player. And we're using Black Widow for this. Alter Ego form, she's got a recovery of three. Mission prep ability as a response. After you play a preparation card, draw one card, limit once per phase. Hand size of six, hit points of nine. Hero mode, two for thwart, attack, and defense. Widowmaker ability as a response. After you trigger the ability of a preparation card you control, deal one damage to an enemy and a hand size of five. And like I said, I'm going in with the power protection. I'll give this a shuffle. At the end of the video, I'll go over how I constructed this deck for you. Hopefully you can go with a victory. So this is my fifth play with Black Widow. And I've gone through all four aspects after this one. So protection is not my norm, but we'll see what happens here. So we'll start with six cards. Getting a Synth Suit, Energy Barrier, Mockingbird, Widow's Bite, Black Widow's Gauntlet, and Covert Ops. I can already tell you I want that, and that, and that. And I think we're too early for those. But just in case, I'll keep the Synth Suit and we'll draw two others. Getting Espionage and Black Widow. So I will start by putting in our gauntlet with that for a resource. This provides a resource. We exhaust the gauntlet, generate a wild resource for a preparation card. We will go ahead and do that to put in Widow's Bite. It's a hero response, which is an attack. After a minion enters play, discard Widow's Bite, deal two damage to that minion and stun it. Putting that into play allows us to draw a card, getting Endurance. And Really want to put Energy Barrier in play, but I think getting Synth Suit in early will help us. So that's going to give us plus one defense. It's a hero response after you trigger the ability of a preparation card you control. Exhaust Synth Suit and Ready Black Widow. So we'll put that in play. Go ahead and flip over. And I think we're just going to thwart for two to give us another round to set up. So we will draw five cards. Getting Nova, Target Acquired, Dance of Death, Nick Fury, and another Dance of Death. Start of the Villain Phase, we'll throw a threat up there. 
Norman's going to scheme for base two, three. So we're up to four. Then we're getting one reveal. Choose to either spend two resources of any type or give the villain one face down boost card. Um, I think we're going to give him a boost card. And for our turn, we are going to attack for two. Get rid of these two counters. So if there's none here, we're going to flip Osborne and Krimmel Enterprise and put two counters on that. When he flips over, we take four indirect damage, so down to five. And while I love Dance of Death, unfortunately, I'm going to pitch all those. So we can put Nick Fury in play. Uh, after he comes in play, we can remove two threat, draw three cards, or deal four damage to an enemy. We're going to go for the four damage. Taking him down to 14. Then we're going to swing for two. End our turn, getting five cards. All right, the defensive stance, strength, power protection, energy, and energy barrier. I'm liking what I've got there. So start of turn, get a threat. Calvin's going to attack. We're going to have Nick jump in the way. He's getting one boost card plus another. So the first one, place an infamy counter on criminal enterprise. If you cannot remove one madness counter from state of madness. And it's given plus two to the attack. And this one given plus three. So he's got four, nine damage coming in. And Nyx protecting us from that. And our encounter card is going to be a hired gun. When revealed, choose to either give the villain one face down boost card or place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise. Well, criminal enterprise is not in place, so we're getting a face down boost. And when he comes into play, after a minion enters play, discard this, deal two damage to that minion and stun it. So two damage. Stunned, and he'll take a damage from this. We are going to go ahead and thwart for two. Put in an energy barrier with the power of protection. So this is going to get three reflection counters. When you would take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter from here, prevent one of that damage, and deal one damage to an enemy. Then we will flip over, put in defensive stance with our strength. Max one per player, hero interrupt. When you would take any amount of damage, discard defensive stance, prevent three of that damage. It's gonna let us draw a card into a grappling hook, which we will go ahead and put into play with our energy. Uh, so that's preparation when you reveal a treachery Discard Grappling Hook, cancel the effects of that treachery, and discard it. We'll draw six. Getting Defensive Stance, a Gauntlet, Energy Barrier, Target Acquired, Genius, and Safe House. And hope this doesn't ruin us with all the threat we're going to get up here. So on at the beginning of the turn. He's going to scheme. Uh, when he would scheme, remove one madness counter from State of Madness. So we flip all those over and two counters come up. Then this hired gun's going to scheme for two. So we're up to six there. And our encounter card is Master Plan. When revealed, place four thread on each side scheme. If there are no side schemes in play, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side scheme is discarded. Reveal that side scheme. So 
Oscar manufacturing when revealed. Norman Osborn placed an additional one per threat here. So we're getting three on that. And that's giving us an acceleration. So we will start by putting in her safe house with a, that as a resource. As an alter ego action, we can exhaust this, choose a prep card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. I'll then put in our gauntlet with target acquired. Then let's see what we want to get over here. We'll go for espionage with our safe house. Go ahead and put that in play, which lets us draw a card, getting a defensive stance. Then we're gonna put in another energy barrier with three tokens. Flip over. And we'll see if we can keep this from uh, nope. Let's see. I think we'll just hit this for the two, which will flip everything, which deals four and direct damage to each player. We will play this when we would take any amount of damage, discard this to prevent three of that damage. And that is going to deal one damage back. which, it's a hero response. After you trigger the ability of a preparation card you control, exhaust this and ready Black Widow. And for the other damage coming through, we are gonna spin one of those tokens. When you would take any amount of damage, remove one reflection counter, prevent one of that damage and deal one damage to an enemy. We're gonna deal that to the hired gun to get him out of play. Then we will thwart for two. We will keep this in hand and draw four more. Getting attack robotics, power protection, grappling hook, and espionage. Ready our cards. We're gonna add two thread out here, so still at six. Green Goblin is gonna attack with two boost cards. That could be a lot or a little bit of nothing. We will go ahead and defend, so we've got a defense of three. So the first boost, just place an infamy counter on criminal enterprise. If you cannot, remove a madness from state of madness. And the second one is just adding one. So he's coming in with five damage. We are blocking three. So two is coming through. We'll use our energy barrier to block two and shoot that back on him. And for our encounter card, private security specialist. Uh, he's a guard with four health, zero scheme and one attack. So for our turn, let's see. We will go ahead and flip over. We'll put in defensive stance with the power protection, which will let us draw a card, getting covert ops, which is just an action, not a hero action, allows us to thwart, uh, remove four threat from a scheme and confuse the villain. We will use our safe house to get a preparation card back in our hand. So we'll get that. We will use our gauntlets to put grappling hook into play. Then we're gonna play Covert Ops from our alter ego form. Uh, remove four threat from a scheme. We'll take it off this one. If I can pick these up. And confuse the villain. 
That will be our turn, so we'll draw six cards. Getting target acquired, Widow's Bite, Tacrobatics, Luke Cage, Quinn Carrier, and Espionage. Start of turn, we'll get two threat. He will go to scheme, but he's confused, so nothing happens. Security has a scheme of zero. And then we're going to get a pr another private security specialist out. Uh, we're going to start with recovering, going up to eight. We're going to put a Widow's Bite into play with our gauntlet, which lets us draw a card. Finding Winter Soldier, that's nice to see. Then we'll put an Attackrobatics into play with our other gauntlet. Then we'll use our safe house to bring in Attackrobatics from our discard pile. Winter Soldier, reduce the cost to play him by one for each preparation card you control. We have one, two, three, four, five, six out. So he's free to put in. Toward of two, attack of two. We will then put in Luke Cage for four, using those four resources. So he's got toughness coming in on him. But we're immediately gonna thwart for him for one, take this down to two, which will remove his toughness. Then we will have Winter Soldier thwart for two. get rid of Oscorp Manufacturing, and we are gonna go ahead and flip over to Black Widow. Drawing five cards, here's our first one. Gets us an encounter card, and time to shuffle. So we are still on our first version of Green Goblin, or mode two, eight health left, we're down to eight. Feel like we've got some things built up though. So four more cards coming our way. So we've got Mockingbird, Espionage, Dance of Death, Covert Ops, and Downtime. And Winter Soldier has a damage on him. Start the villain phase, go up to five. So these two are attack actions. These are guards, so we can't use them to attack with. We're just gonna let this attack come through on Black Widow. Base four, plus one, so we got five damage coming in. Place an infamy counter on Criminal in Enterprise. If you cannot, remove one Madness from State of Madness. So that's gonna trigger, we do the boost first. So we're gonna remove the Madness counter which is gonna trigger this happening. The attack is already initiated, so according to the FAQ, that becomes a zero. He's coming at us for one damage. We'll go ahead and use that. To We'll put that on one of these guards. Then he'll attack for one. We'll transfer one damage to him. This guy will attack for one. We'll transfer damage to him. Then we'll get another encounter card. First one is gonna be a payday. So this gets us an extra encounter card, comes out with two thread on it. Second one, oh, another payday. Nope, oh, I don't like all those paydays going around. She will thwart for two. Winter Soldier will thwart for two and take his damage. Luke Cage will attack for two to get rid of one of these security specialists, taking his damage. We'll put espionage in play with one of our gauntlets. Then we're gonna do our dance of death. 
So hero action, make the following three attacks in order. So there's three separate attacks going on. First attack, deal one damage, takes him up to two. Second attack, deals two damage to an enemy, which will take him out. Uh, third attack, deal three damage to an enemy, which will take these off, flip everything over. Deal four direct damage to each player. We'll take a defensive stance. It's a hero interrupt. So when you would take any amount of damage, prevent three of that. Triggers her ability to deal one damage to the villain. Also triggers a hero response after we trigger that ability. She readies. One damage will come through. Then she will go ahead and swing for two. Ending her turn, we'll keep the Dance of Death, drawing four more cards. Getting Espionage, Covered Ops, Power Protection, and Target Acquired. We'll go up to six over here. Goblin's going to attack. We are going to defend. They've got a base four coming in plus another two. All right, for that, we're gonna use attack robotics. So when a boost card is turned face up, discard this, cancel the boost icons on that card, deal one damage to the villain for each boost icon canceled this way. So that's gonna be two plus the one for us triggering our ability, which will let us ready. Uh, four was coming through. We had a defense of three, so we will take one damage. Then we'll get an encounter card, which is a treachery. So this would place two infamy counters on criminal enterprise. If you can't remove two madness counters from state of madness, we are going to do a grappling hook to cancel that, which will deal another damage. And that should have been ready. We're going to plan this out. Let's see. We're going to thwart for two. And while part of me wants to do the Dance of Death, I'm going to end up doing Covert Ops with those three resources to remove four threat from a scheme and confuse the villain. So we don't have to worry about that for a bit. Then we will attack for two, which will take care of our first version of Green Goblin. So version three comes out. Uh, when revealed, still does four damage, force interrupt when he would scheme, remove two madness counters instead of one. Then on the flip side, we're placing three infamy counters instead when he would attack. And he comes out with 22 health. So he was in green goblin mode when he did that. So he comes back in that same mode. And then Winter Soldier is going to swing at him for two to take him down to 20. Then we will flip over. Use our safe house to go looking for our defensive stance. Put that in play with these two resources, which lets us draw a card, getting Black Widow. For the end of the turn, I think I'm going to go ahead and discard Black Widow, drawing five more. We've got target acquired, energy barrier, defensive stance, another energy barrier, and attack robotics. I think that's going to work just fine for us. Throw a threat out here. He goes to scheme, but he's confused. Get an encounter card, finding some private security. Now just move these over here. So espionage is just an interrupt. These three are all hero 
responses and interrupts. So back to our turn, we're gonna cut, recover for three, up to nine. We'll put attack robotics in play with this gauntlet, which will let us draw a card. Finding genius. So power protection, we can put an energy barrier in play. And it gets three counters on it. With genius, we'll put another energy barrier in play. We'll use our gauntlet to put target acquired in play, and then use our safe house. Let's see, what do we want now? I'm getting a lot of boost things coming out. We'll get another target acquired. And we'll put that in play using defensive stance. Flip over. Have blue cage attack. Well, we'll have Winter Soldier attack for two, which will get him out, put two damage up here. Then Luke Cage will attack for two, taking him up to three damage and taking care of security. That will end our turn drawing five. Getting Endurance, Energy, Strength, Nick Fury, and Nova. Wow, that could be interesting. So start of Green Goblin's turn, we get a threat. He's going to attack, we're going to take it. So base four, five, six, so we've got six damage coming after us. We'll use this to block three of that, which will deal a damage to him. Then we'll use one of these to deflect the other three, taking him down to 16. Then the encounter card is a treachery. So we could have the villain attack us. We're just gonna grappling hook that and deal one damage back to him. So it's back to our turn. We will bring out Nick Fury using those four. We're gonna to choose to draw three cards with him. So getting target acquired, defensive stance, and a Quinn carrier. I'm good with another defensive stance going out there. Then we'll bring out endurance, giving us plus three hit points. So that takes us up to 12. And we'll go ahead and put out another target acquired, just because we can. So swinging for two, down to 13. Swinging for two, down to 11. Swing for two, down to nine. And he's up to four damage on him. That's gonna be our turn. So we will draw five cards, first getting three then get an encounter card and do some shuffling and draw two more. Third of her deck is out on the table here. So we've got Dance of Death, Widow's Bite, Power Protection, Covered Ops, and an Energy Barrier. Start with some threat out there. He's going to attack for four. We'll go ahead and use Nick to defend. So five damage coming in. Probably would have been better for me just to take it. We can go ahead and play the attack robotics to cancel the one boost and put that back on him. Plus her ability will do another damage and Nick will go away. And we'll get another encounter card. First one is going to be the villain attacks you. Yeah, we're good with that one coming in. 
So he's coming in with four damage, five, six damage. So the first three coming in will prevent that, which deals the damage. The next three we will block back and put back on him. And then our next one. <laughs> oh, awesome. When revealed, the villain heals X damage, where X is equal to double the villain state's number. No damage was healed this way. This card gains Surge. If only... I had my grappling hook out there. And instead, we're on stage three. He's going to heal six, so up to nine health. But we're not discouraged. I'm going to put out a Widow's Bite because we can have Luke Cage attack for two. Down to seven. Which is going to remove him. We'll have Black Widow attack for two. Down to five. Then we're going to do a little Dance of Death. Uh, deal one damage to an enemy. Deal two damage to an enemy. Then deal three damage to an enemy. And Green Goblin, an expert, has been taken down by Black Widow using the power of protection. And for deck construction, I've said it before, all her cards are good. Trying to get these out early is helpful. If you can get this out early, that's also great. Dance of Death, her grappling hooks for treachery, Widow's Bite for minions. Tacrobatics for boost cards. And Winter Soldier, you can almost always get out for free. And then the Covert Ops. Then the Power Protection, we've got those two cards. And the big mistake you probably noticed during my playthrough, we can't have two Black Widows to play. So I'd probably just throw in another ally, or if you wanted to help with resources sometimes, uh, one of these would work also. But we've got the three defensive stance cards uh, to help prevent damage. Energy barriers are huge with her. And then Luke Cage and Nova, just for some allies. And then her basic cards, we've got the three espionage to deal with, or to help with surge cards. Target acquired to deal with boost cards. Our three resource cards. Downtime and Endurance, in case you do get in trouble with your health. Mockingbird, Nick Fury, and the Quinn Carrier. And that's the basics to building out a protection deck for Black Widow. And a lesson to make sure you don't put in a duplicate that's just going to be used for a resource. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.